Hi, Trixie. Mind if I join you? Sure. I was just meditating. Here, take my hand. Sure thing, sugar sponge. Become one with the ocean, right? I have never been happier. Then why do I see a little bitty teeny weedy sad on your face? Well, you see that drone out there? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. The office again? Yep. They never leave you alone. Well, they're going to from now on. What do you mean? I've been on vacation for a year, and I'm running out of time. They'll expect me to come back very soon. Oh. I'm not going back. Really? I want to stay with you. Shit! Can we do that? Sail the ocean, explore the world together? Is that what you want? I don't want anything else. Then let me tell them no. One last time, and I'm all yours. That's so perfect. You mind if I have a moment alone with this thing? Absolutely, sweetie. Okay, Mission Control. I can't wait to hear your monotonous droning voice for the last time ever. Good evening, Agent Phillips. What the hell? Perhaps you were expecting an anonymous EMF voice to give you your marching orders. You probably did not expect to hear your old nemesis, Christatos O'Brien. You got that right. I regret to say that I am currently in the hands of your EMF. But what you may not realize is that you, my friend, are in a similar predicament to mine. What the hell are you talking about, you old monster? You are currently on board a ship helmed by a man named Hunter Ridley Randolph Fletcher, also known as the Admiral. He has held you captive on his boat without the slightest suspicion entering your enfeebled brain. Unfortunately, he has also stolen everything from me. So I give you an opportunity to help the both of us. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, I'll take is that. to... Hey. Hello, Admiral. I think we need to have a bit of a discussion, Mr. Doe. Isn't that right, Trixie? Sorry, sweetie. Mission Rejected. The story of the world's most secret agents. The Backups. Tonight's episode, The Quotient of All Fears. I have been an EMF agent for five years. Four behind a desk writing passphrases, and one working with the finest crack team of specialists I could have ever hoped for. Oh, thank you, Agent Granger. The honor is ours, Skip. Mm, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. As agents, we hold ourselves to certain higher ideals. We live by a code of ethics. Part written, part unwritten, but inviolable. Now, the man I looked up to for most of my professional life... Chet Phillips? I'm sorry to say that as of today, he has broken that code. What exactly did he do, Skip? He overused his vacation time. Uh Uh-huh. I hear Ron Howard has people killed for lesser offenses. Anyone heard from Anson Williams lately? Are you okay, Skip? Yes, Gloria. I just... It's hard, you know, when one of your idols fails you. Ah, Section Chief Anders. Thank you for coming. I understand you have further information about Chet Phillips' vacation? Yes. Chet Phillips has been sailing on the OB cruise line for nearly Mm. a year. OB? Does that mean something to you, Miss McGrath? Nah, I just remembered I have to pick up a box of pads. Oh. Anyway, you're going to find Chet Phillips and bring him back. Yeah, hey, Zelda? Yes, Miss McGrath? Why? 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 Look, obviously this dude got a taste of the easy life and is literally sailing off into the sunset. Uh, the image alone is causing my worldview to crumble Look, and shamble. Look, last night you got out your AK-47 or whatever and we were in a car chase with public enemy number one. 
And we caught him. What's your point, McGrath? We got this. You got this? We don't need Chet Phillips anymore. We're the team. Skip, you're the leader. I'll break you into any computer you name, glorious kicking ass, Bowden's so good he fooled us. What's that super spy got that we don't got? He's got himself kidnapped. What? What? Yes! You think it's good he got kidnapped? I knew Agent Phillips would never be derelict in his duty. Oh boy. Chief, who would have the resources and the ability to capture and hold Chet Phillips? He's one guy. How hard could it be? McGrath, I hate to say it, but I've worked with Phillips, and you underestimate him. Everything I hear about the guy makes him sound like a total douche. You're impressed? Rightfully so. With my mimicry abilities. But Chet Phillips was doing that for years without your face printer. How? Prosthetics. Ah, those were the day's practical effects. All right, he does old-timey disguises. What else can he do? I hear he could kill a man seven ways with an Anjou pear. He is brilliant at strategy and counter-strategy. He inspires patriotism in allies and dread in enemies to freedom. He's not bad-looking either. He speaks 53 languages, is a certified master chef. He can pilot anything that rolls, flies, or floats, and has never failed to achieve a mission objective. Well, at least you got my mad hacking skills, right? We do. And do you know who coded that cyber honeypot that the FBI used to bring you down, Ms. McGrath? No, I never... No. Chet Phillips. Chet Phillips is the guy who caught me? He's the reason you guys get to hold prison over my head? We're willing to consider a full exoneration, Ms. McGrath, if you successfully bring Chet Phillips back to us. Can I get that in writing? Yes. Okay, who kidnapped him? Gloria. The slide projector, please. Yes, section chief. This man is H.R.R. Fletcher, also known as the Admiral. Oh, God. You know him, Bo? He's the founder of the Oceanologists. You mean the cult that owns half of Hollywood? Again, that's the totally legitimate religious organization, and they own maybe 12% tops. He's a true enigma. We have almost too much information about him. What does that mean? We have no official records. Birth certificate, social security, driver's license. But we do have various contradictory eyewitness records stating that he was a used car salesman, science fiction author, bodhisattva, fish hatchery supervisor, and some hard-to-dispute evidence that he bankrolled a prequel to Birth of a Nation back in 1923. But that would make the Admiral over a hundred years old. That can't be true. Can it? I'm saying nothing until I see a body with a stake through its heart. The one indisputable fact is that he founded the Oceanologists and has become a hyper-charismatic guru who indoctrinated the weak-willed into his organization. Wait, wasn't this the cult that stole Christatos O'Brien's entire criminal fortune? Indeed. The Admiral indoctrinated Christatos' daughter Athena in Crete two years ago. And the heiress gifted the Admiral her share of the O'Brien Empire. And then they had our parking garage attendant steal the rest of his empire out from under his nose. It's a tale as old as time. But now we've got Christados in custody. Did we learn anything from him? Christados says the Admiral has repurposed one of his potato shipping tankers as a pleasure cruise ship. Where he lures rich people to indoctrinate them into his cult, right? It's actually crazier than that, McGrath. I'll buckle up. Thanks to the Section Chief's research, we now know that the Admiral is trying to create a military wing of the Oceanologists called the Ocean Bureau. Fletcher named himself Admiral Supreme Interworld Commander of the Ocean Bureau, and the OB Cruise Liner is its flagship. A religious navy? What are they fighting against? That's unclear. Sounds like a bunch of old people trying to play Battleship for real How did they get their hands on Chet? After we discovered that our parking garage attendant was an embedded oceanologist... We reviewed this parking garage footage of Chet Phillips leaving the building for the last time, one year ago. You seem real stressed. If I could make a recommendation, the missus and I took one of them OB cruises. Weeks out at sea really clears the mind. I I got a brochure here. Huh. Maybe a cruise is just what I need. Yeah, they got this cleanse you can do. Would you just open the gate? So it seems our parking garage attendant, Pebble, sent Chet right into the Admiral's clutches. Therefore, the first part of my plan is to confront Pebble at his apartment, lean hard on him, and gain any information we can about the Admiral's plans. Pebble fled the country last night. Damn it! Forget the parking attendant, Skip. Forget him? 
He was the one lead we had to figure out who and what is on that boat! We recovered a partial passenger manifest from Pebble's apartment, and we have the ship's schematic from Crustato's. We'll just have to improvise a little. Right. You have to try to keep a cooler head, Agent Granger. I know, Chief. I, I'm trying. So, Section Chief, what does the Admiral want with Chet? We believe he doesn't want Chet. He wants his mission tapes. Oh my god, you're kidding me! Those are the guys who are stealing your information? And you thought it was me? The EMF heartily apologizes. Will I get that in writing? No. The Admiral may have kept up pretenses with Agent Phillips for as long as he could. But Chet Phillips is one smart cookie. He's undoubtedly figured it out by now. And if he figured it out, the Admiral would lock him up. Or worse. Exactly, Gloria. So there's no time to lose. Wait. Are we going to do, like, a pirate raid on this cruise ship? Oh, uh, essentially, that's right, McGrath. Oh, I'm loving this one. Bowden, we're going to need the performance of a lifetime out of you. You're going to have to duplicate the Admiral. I know this is probably going to end my chances of ever starring in a blockbuster studio picture, but okay, I'm in. I'll print your mask, Bowden, and you get working on the Admiral's voice. No need. Fletcher's released 7,000 hours of self-help audiobooks, and every single screen actor has heard them. Gloria, you and I will be disguised as well. Skip, we know what happened the last time you tried to act. I don't know. Agent Granger's learned to pose as an EMT, an auditor, a safe inspector, and... Yeah, as himself. The one time he had to put on a mask and actually duplicate a person, he sounded like Sam Eagle on Quaaludes. There'll be no talking this time. We'll restrain Jim and Helen Blotsman, a couple staying in Suite 309. Then we'll walk through the ship with snap face masks, disguised as the Blotsmans, and we won't talk to anyone. Ugh, I don't have to pretend to be one of those one percenters, No, I? McGrath, you'll go disguised as a deckhand, no mask required. We'll need you when we commandeer the helm computer. Deckhand, I can do. Arr, matey. Okay, here's your outfit. It's standard OB issue and- This is a sailor suit! Yes, for sailors. I mean, this is full-on Popeye. Be glad it wasn't Donald Duck. The Ocean Bureau wears this stuff? Once we're on the ship, what's the plan? Get McGrath to the helm computer and find out where they're keeping Agent Phillips, break him out, and run. While avoiding the Admiral and his crew. And brainwashed old people. You make it sound like we're hiding from Alex Jones. Unfortunately, we're short one skill set. We need a pilot to silently dock the stealth speedboat to the cruise ship so we can board. You've got one. Me. Chief? As you said, you need a speedboat pilot. McGrath has convinced me to get back into the field. And frankly, I'm still not 100% sure you're not going to find a way to screw this up. That's the ringingest endorsement we're gonna get, fellas. All right, let's do this. Let's do this! <gasps> oh! <clears throat> Sorry, just practicing. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring Chet Phillips back from vacation. Keep calm, Agent Granger. You so really close. need to learn how to run. I admit, I've never seen cruise ships up close like this. You mean bearing down on you like a floating skyscraper? Pretty much, yeah. Gloria, the tow line! Oh, I'm on it, Agent. Okay, people. Masks on. Get in, get Phillips, get out. Keep the motor running, Zelda. See you soon, Chief. Wow! Oh, 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 your face! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. God help us. Uh, mm. Are you stuck, Skip? No. Are you lying, Skip? Maybe. Are you kidding me, Skip? Uh, who's there? Room service. Ah, uh, just a minute! <laughs> Lose some weight, man. Everything all right, Mr. Blotsman? We're, We're great. great! Coming in. Wait! Um, <clears throat> hello, sir. I am Mr. Blotsman, and this is my uh, sailor. Right. His wife doesn't know. Keep it quiet. Arr. This is an outrage, you barging in like this. You were trying to bring a man into our bedroom, weren't you, Blotsman? Admit it! Ow, 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 ow. Quit it, uh, mistress. All right. 
you know what? As amusing as this is, I'm going to stop you right there. Well, I never! A firearm! D- listen, man, I'm part of the crew, I'm- Wait, you look familiar. Do I know you? You're not Blotsman. Of course I am! Look at my face! I saw you climbing up the outside of the ship. Yes, I was giving him the VIP tour. Now, I don't want to shoot you. That's very kind of you. See, the Admiral has some important guests, and if they hear a gunshot, they'll get skittish, and that's no good. Sailor, do you recognize this man from the office? Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it... The Admiral's a very busy man, so if you don't scream, I'll make this painless. Wait, wait, hold on! Ahoy there! Admiral! Thank God, Bowden. Are you bothering my friends, the Blotsmans, thou sack? Are you feeling okay, Admiral? I am full of bees tonight, thank you. Why are you hanging out the window? Excellent interrogatory, friend. Help me in, would you, Mr. Blotsman? Yes, sir, Admiral. The Admiral just wanted to show Mr. Blotsman this great view of the ocean. By climbing out the port glass? Yupper. Admiral, is this a situation that you need taken care of? Uh, What I need, friend, is for you to quietly escort my friends and I to the helm. Uh Uh-huh. Why don't you ask me nicely, Admiral? Please? I mean, use my name. Your name? Yeah. What's my name? Uh, You know, I was meaning to talk to you about that. I think we should christen you with a new name and title that befits you like Lord High Killmonger of Thebes. What do you think? I think that I want you to prove that you know who I am, Admiral. Well, uh, you Oh my are... god, Lieutenant Valerian! Lieutenant Valerian! Lieutenant Valerian? Yes, I, I mean, <clears throat> yes, good old Lieutenant Valerian. Wait, the insane um, ex-seal? Uh, uh, d- darling, what are you doing here with this sail? Uh, nothing, dear, no hanky-panky. Who are you people, really? For shame, Valerian. I am H.R.R. R. Fletcher, the Admiral. No, you mean not by my mighty voice? Good evening, comrades. Come to the party on the poop deck for cocktails. Uh, but that is a recording. Unfortunately, I am right this very minute below decks, blessing the navigation machinery. But I'll see you all for midnight indoor lawn bowling. There is a logical explanation. Oh, screw it. Time to die, phonies. Not so fast. Hi, Cable! Uh, I got his gun! Throw it out the window! Uh, uh, Gloria! Uh, Valerian, I'll kill you for that! Uh, 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 can't fight him, he's too good! You're all dead! Uh, into the hallway! Uh, we can't keep this shut forever! Just give me a few seconds. There, let go. Uh, what did you do? I hacked the electronic lock so it would never open again. Nice work, Mackenzie! What the heck is Valerian doing here? I thought Phillips reported him dead. Obviously, nothing Phillips has reported over the last year can be trusted. The Admiral's had him this whole time. How long will this door hold him? For a while, but we've got to hurry. Quick, to the helm! Everyone ready? Yep. Ready, Skip. You got it. I hope the Admiral really is praying over the sexton or whatever he said. I can't chance running okay. into him. Gloria, you're with me. We're the Blotsmans. McGrath, stick with Bowden. He's your boss. Two pairs, opposite sides of the deck. Don't talk to anyone. Got Ten it. four, Roger. boss. Go. <laughs> Eyes straight ahead. Um, boss? Everyone seems dressed a bit more business than casual. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's a formal evening. We may be out of place in our Hawaiian shirts. Just avoid eye contact and hope no one wants to make conversation. Jim? (laughs) Helen? What are you doing here? Oh! Uh, hello! Pebble the parking garage attendant! I thought you guys disembarked three months ago. You know, a lot of these characters are pretty shady. We're, uh... Pretty shady ourselves. What? We're into bitcoins! Really? Oh, you gotta meet this guy I was talking to. He's wild. Uh... You couldn't pay me to put those chaps on, I tell you what. Evening! Uh, 
Good to see you! Bowman, <laughs> knock it off. I have to keep up appearances, McGrath. Everyone wants to see the Admiral. Let's just get where we're going without making a scene. <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, Marcus, your drink landed square in that sailor's ugly mug. Urge to kill? Rising? Uh, <laughs> good show, you. Take that, employee. Try it, Admiral. Throw Sherman's drink in the sailor's face. Marcus, you are a card. Yes, Marcus. You're... Marcus Ellsbury? She looks like a sopping wet Popeye. Did you ever draw Popeye in your comic books, Marcus? Wait a second. Aren't you two... Admiral! I should immortalize you in my next comic. Your adventures would be astounding. You're such an absolutely fantastic character. Ha -ha. I sure am. I gotta go now. Admiral, have you met Mr. Blacksteer? I can't say I... What? We were just discussing fungible commodities in the food packing industry. Oh, there he is. Well, good to see you out and about, Admiral. It certainly is. It certainly is. I gotta go, Admiral. Excuse me, I have to go mop up my sailor. She seems to be soaked. Toodaloo. Yeah, adios, Admiral. Oh my god, that was Sherman, 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 damn Roman Sherman. I don't know who you're talking about. But that was Curly Two-Gun Blacksteer. What the hell kind of a name is Curly Two-Gun Blacksteer? He was the cattle baron who fired me when I went undercover for two months at Seabag. Well, we tried to stop Damro and Sherman from tanking the global economy with that paranoid mathematician Cassandra Helsinki before she vanished. And what's that crook Marcus Ellsbury doing on board? I thought this ship was supposed to be full of old retirees and washed-up movie stars. You're a washed-up movie star. Do you count? This is no time for jokes. This is serious, McGrath. We're surrounded by dangerous criminals. Just keep moving. Right. <clears throat> Evening, ladies. Nice uh, crossbow. <laughs> Here he is. You gotta meet him. I don't think that's we have necessary. have a bingo game in a few minutes. Please. These two are in bitcoins. Really? Your shirt looks like the Crayola factory exploded. My god! You're, uh, Blaze Taggart! Yeah, 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 try not to drool on the Gucci's. Listen, man, how'd you like to get on the ground floor of solving global warming? Oh, that sounds good! Aren't you supposed to be under house arrest? Yeah, I paid a stunt double to hang around my place. I'll saw his legs off if he touches my sourdough starter. Blaze Svitart? Who are you calling now? Oh, God, Tatiana! Do we know you? Ah, your reputations as enforcers for the Des Moines Parking Authority precede you. Who is this person? Uh, he sounds like a man who knows too much for his own good. Blatsman something, I don't know. I don't remember names, sweet cheeks. Forget about it. Anyway, listen. We start by drowning all the cows in the Atlantic Ocean. Then we dig deep in your basement. Yeah. Are you meeting them? No. Just wanted to give you this parking pass, Admiral, and any time you're in Des Moines. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, my dear. This bird's flipping crazy, isn't it? She had driving on the wrong side of the road. Come on, Admiral. Coming. What is going on? Every single criminal we've encountered is on this cruise ship. The Admiral obviously got their information from Chet Phillips' mission tapes. Who knows why he invited them all on board together, but let's get moving before someone really crazy sees us. Admiral, buenas noches. So wonderful to see you again. It sure is, General. My God, you're still short. What you have done here, my friend, bringing all of these different people together, once bitter enemies, now allies, this will go down in his head. You're here! Cheers, Cheers Admiral. Sailor, I'm afraid our friends aren't going to let us go. I'll call the Blotsmans. Make it so. So, Jose, General to Admiral, how is San Atraparte these days? Ah, it's tan hermosa, Fletcher. You must visit sometime. Come in, Blotsman. Please. Please. <laughs> Our army of super intelligent squids eats Al Gore and bada boom, planet saved. What a duck. It could work. Yo, Blotsman, you there? Is that your Bluetooth Blotsman? Oh, yes. This is a, an important call. It's a sailor my husband's having an affair with. Well, I guess that means you're available. Put oh. your tongue back in your mouth, please. That's not my tongue, and it's my pants. Blotsman? 
Everyone wants to talk to us. You're gonna have to make out without me. It is sad when a tryst falls through. I still call dibs on your wife, man. Wait, your sailor friends with the Admiral? Hey, there he is. Tatiana, we must go bisque in the Admiral's presence. Ah. Catch you later, Blotsman. Yes, yes, we'll catch up with you after midnight indoor lawn bowling. So look, Pebble, I was telling you a foolproof way to make a cool milk. First, you enter the International Space Station in the Kentucky Derby. Second, you... God, everyone wants to talk to the Admiral. Who knew the deadliest obstacle was cocktail party small talk? Attention, everyone. The Admiral would like to invite you all to the conference room for an important presentation. Uh, yes, that is exactly my intention at this moment uh, in time. Yes, we're going in here, Admiral. They're taking Bowden and McGrath below deck. Oh, Bo, be careful. Come on, Gloria. Bowden can handle himself. We have to find Agent Phillips, then we can all get off this floating death trap. <laughs> Who's that? I've got a harpoon gun on a hair trigger, and I can put it through a man's eye before he can blink. Show yourself. Zelda Anders! Hello, Lieutenant Valerian. Welcome back to the land of the living. It's been a while. Yep. I'm afraid I have to shoot you through the eye now. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> You kick-started the motor! You're gonna snap the line connecting us to the ship! I see your face looks when I put it through that motor! Oh, you know what, Brad? My file says you're dead, and I hate to have to amend it! Damn it, Valerian. First you cut me loose from the ship, then you gum up my motor. I'm dead in the water. You're on your own, Agent Granger. Thank goodness there's no one here. Here's the helm computer. I'll do my best to find the schematics, but it's going to be really hard without Mackenzie's help. This ship is crawling with wanted criminals! The Admiral must have recruited them after getting their information from Chet's mission tapes. Why? I don't know! Maybe he's trying to get them in his cult? He could have used his powers of persuasion to get them all on board, but what's his endgame? Okay, look here. There's a huge power drain on this room on Deck 5. The security monitoring of that area is intense. What do the monitors show? I'm sorry, Agent Granger. They're password locked. You'd need Miss McGrath for that. If Chet's being held prisoner, that room's our best bet. What kind of room is it? It's... The spa? Really? That's probably just a front. It's the most monitored room on board. Shh! Someone's coming! Hide! Be vanquished dust! Away from that user manual! There's nowhere to hide! Quick! Get behind the door when he opens it! Wait, where will you hide? Shh! I am the exorcist of malfunctions everywhere and... Oh, why, hello, Mrs. Blotsman. What a pleasant surprise. Hello, Admiral! What are you doing at the helm? Oh, nothing. I just... Didn't we drop you off in Bayonne, New Jersey? Yes. You're supposed to be spreading the good word of the oceanologists to the little people on the mainland, telling them about Xerox. Oh, well, is there a Cassandra Helsinki on board? You know, she used to talk about... Why are you here, Mrs. Blotsman? Oh, uh, because we heard rumors of an attempt on your life, Admiral. What? Who would dare take up arms against such a mighty bear as I? Uh, yes, Jim really wanted to be here, but he had to go. Go? You know, away to find that secret agent who was after you. I'm just coming. <laughs> Prepare for death, intruder! Oh, I think that was just the wind, Admiral. Uh, sorry, Helen. I'm a little jumpy tonight. I understand. You seem nervous. Uh, do I? Yes. What did I teach you uh, about uh, nervousness? Remind me. You must become one with the ocean. One 
with the ocean? <gasps> yes. Let me go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Become oh, one stop. with the <laughs> ocean. So right this way, everyone. Uh, shorter folks in front so we can see the monitors. That's right. <laughs> what do we do, McGrath? I say we wait until this presentation starts, then we slip out. Right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We at OB Cruises hope that you're enjoying your time on board with Enough us. Enough with the nicey-nice, chicky pie. Let's hear from the Admiral. Admiral, you came after all. How wonderful. Say something, Bowden. Uh, yes, but I think my lovely assistant knows all the details of why we brought you here. I do. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. I couldn't be with you in person. I'm at the resort on the Admiral's private island. Wait. That's my island. San Otraparte uses it as a secret military base. And it's beautiful. Thank you for contributing it to the Ocean Bureau, General. ¿Qué? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es lo que creen que están haciendo? Uh, easy does it, folks. Uh, give her a minute to explain. Bowden, the doors are locked. What? They're magnetically sealed. We're locked in with these murderers. And they don't now, look happy. Hold on to your horses, little lady. I don't know what your angle is here. There but... is no angle. We appreciate everything that all of you have donated. Just look. On the screen, you'll see a complete inventory of all your assets. This is outrageous! As you can see, since you gave us access to your assets in order to come to this gathering, we were able to use backdoor channels to seize everything you own. What? My money! My cow! My sourdough starter! My god! Bastardos! This is a trick! You have brought us here only to steal our poor resources. Uh, now... You got it, you clever cuttlefish. Now, all of your combined criminal enterprises <laughs> belong to me. Wait, to you? What is she talking about? Oh, <laughs> what? None of it belongs to you, you stupid piece of ass. It belongs to your boss, the Admiral. No, Blaze. The Admiral was a useful frontman. But I... I'm the rightful heir to the throne. My god! You're... Athena O'Brien? My god! You are right, Bowden. Those old school prosthetics are awesome! That's right, toots. And let me tell you, playing poor idiot Trixie for two years was hilarious. But it was nothing compared to the looks on your faces right now. Everything I've ever had! do something. But, um, what about oceanology, Athena? Don't you love the water? Yeah, sorry, Admiral. All that pseudo-spiritual battle for the universe talk. I guess I never really was an organized religion kind of person. But hey, it worked for these rubes. <laughs> they came running with their pocketbooks open. So thanks for that. You'll never get away with this. Woo, we're gonna string you up, cowgirl. We'll cut your ear off and send it to your mother. Yeah, well, I can see why you'd feel that way. So, it's too bad for you that you're all on that boat and I'm a hundred miles away. Wait, you mean... That's right, Blaze. I'm going to remotely ramp the ship's engine to overload. In ten minutes, it'll blow a hole in the ship and you can all become one with the ocean. Oh my gosh! Athena, please! No oh. use trying to call for help, people. Your signals will be blocked. Bowden, we gotta do something. Athena, what about me, your old friend, the Admiral? <laughs> Sorry, Admiral. It's been a lot of laughs. Kiss Chetty goodbye for me. McGrath, what do we do? Shut up, Bowden. I'm working on it. Hey, you. it's the Admiral. Get him! Oh, uh, listen, everyone. You got the wrong guy. That fake voice won't fool us. McGrath? They're all around us. Oh, back off. Pebble! The Admiral showed me the true nature of the universe, and I'll go down fighting for him. Quick, Bowden, behind the podium. Run, Admiral! Pebble's a gunner against that mob. 
We won't hold them all for long. Athena said no signals, but she broadcast herself in. So, here. This panel's the conduit point. What good is that? Cut these wires, apply a little electrostatic charge, and... Get down there. Where does it go? Who cares? Well, I don't want to fall. Hope you all enjoyed the cruise. Let's see what this spa really is. It's a spa. Well, that's definitely a torture device. No, it's an elliptical machine. What's going on? Why would they have this much security on an actual spa? Okay, I hope your key cards all work, McGrath. So far, so good. What's this? Deep relaxation? Oh, that sounds ominous. I better try it. Oh my god. McGrath? McGrath, can you hear me? Gloria? Bowden? I'm in the spa. I found Agent Phillips. They have him encased in some kind of pod. He has electrodes attached to his temples, blood pressure monitors, uh, some kind of torture device. I've got to get him out of here. Can anyone hear me? McGrath? McGrath, it's wired into the ship's security system. How do I shut this down? McGrath, I need you, please. Darn it. Okay, here goes nothing. Pull the plug, and hope for the best. Ugh. Who? What? Jim Blotzman? Oh, right! The mask! Agent Granger? Oh, thank goodness. Agent Phillips, are you alright? What were they doing to you? I... Wow. You look great. I do? Yeah. When I met you, you were a roly-poly little pencil pusher. Did you infiltrate this ship? I, I did, sir. Holy cow, man. That's impressive. I'm proud of you. I... Sir, I'm trying to maintain my sense of urgency, but I have to admit that I have been waiting five years and possibly my entire life to hear that kind of validation. Agent, you don't have to wait for anybody else to validate you. You should be proud of yourself. Okay. Say it. What? I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of what I've accomplished. I'm... I am... I'm proud of what I've accomplished. You deserve it, champ. Sir, why did they put you in this device? Were they torturing you, extracting information? Oh, this? Nobody put me in there, Agent. I was just relaxing. You... what? (laughs) Torture chamber! (laughs) Hey, you gotta get in here. Try it out. Try it out? Agent Phillips, we are in mortal danger! Skip... I know how the job makes you believe that every little last bump in the road is an emergency, but take it from me. You need to relax. Agent Phillips, what have they done to you? What have they done? Skip, listen, they decontaminated me. I was so wound up with unimportant garbage that it was driving me nuts. Work, filing reports, staving off international conflicts in the long run. Does any of that really matter? Of course it does! You save lives! You avert wars! In the grand scheme of things, Skip, people die every day and there's nothing I can do about it. I was driving myself to an early grave worrying. These people showed me how to relax. They were pumping you for information! They stole the mission tapes! The EMF is just a blip on history's radar, Skip. It's not important. They've aided and abetted criminals that have tried to kill me and my teammates! Only because you keep fighting them, Skip. You poke the bear, it eats you. The oceanologists have the answer for you. Just quit. No! No! I refuse to put my morals aside just so I can stop worrying. We'll Ah! see about that, Skip Gray. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What have you done to Gloria? She's safe and secure, and soon we'll show her the secrets of the universe, just like you. No! No! I won't submit to your machine! In you go, upsy daisy. No! No! I won't! I'll never give up! I'll never stop fighting! I'm sorry we don't have more time with you, Agent Granger. We allowed Mr. Phillips several months to adjust, but... Well, for you, we'll just turn the machine up to 11. No! 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 Come on, Skip. Just relax. No! So I says to Trixie, I says, I once ate so many pancakes, they made me chairman of Denny's. I believe it. Do you hear something? 
It's probably Granger still screaming back in the spa. He'll stop soon. No, it sounds like the engines. That it does. I'm sure Trixie will take care of it. Nothing to worry. I'm sure you're right. You know, Admiral, I think I'm going to marry that girl. Son, she's a good one. I'll trust her with my life. Good luck to both of you. Thanks. What a wonderful evening. Well, this is a pickle. You left that woman right here. Hogtied and everything. She couldn't have worked her way out of it? Sir, when I tie a hog... Admiral, I'm serious. She's a trained EMF operative. She could be anywhere. Oh, there she is. Where? Hi! Ah! Hi! What have you done with Skip Granger? See, this is exactly what I was telling him. You agents never leave the job at home. It's a cruise ship, people. Take a load off! (laughs) <laughs> Give in, girl. Accept the inevitable. Accept this! <laughs> I knew keeping up to date fire extinguishers would come back to haunt me! <laughs> oh, Gloria, it's me! Oh, oh God! Bo! I thought you were the Admiral! I'm sweating so hard I can't get this stupid mask off. Where's Skip? I don't know. He went to the spa and never came back. Agent Phillips has been brainwashed. The ship's engines are going to explode at any minute and sink us. We have to get to the spa. Hey, folks. Oh, God. Where are you at? I think it's time for some EMF martial arts training from the master, Chet Phillips. We'll never make it in time with Chet and the Admiral in the way. I'll hold them off while you get Skip. No. Mackenzie, get Skip. Bowden and I will fight them two on two. Gloria, no! Bo, I am taking command of this mission, and I say we are going to fight these two side by side. I love you, Gloria Kovac. I love you, Bowden Montcrief. (sighs) Okay, so I was going to say I'm going to run to the spa before this gets ugly, but I guess I was too late. Go, Agent McGrath. Am I an agent now? Go! I'm going. (sighs) Okay, I'll take Chet. I guess I'll take... (sighs) My God! The Admiral. (sighs) I knew it! My meditation techniques have materialized my negative thoughts into my exact double! Oh... Uh, I shall destroy these thoughts incarnate and achieve true mastery of the universe! Please, sir, Ah. do not tear your shirt off. You are no Patrick Swayze. Come for me, Gamork! I am a Treyu! Come on, Gloria. Get up. You can be the first recruit for the Chet Phillips Nighty Night Relaxation Internship. Deficiencies, troublesome <coughs> thoughts, and lymph <coughs> goo. Seriously? You didn't even know your own second in command was plotting against you. Impossible! Did you know she was Athena O'Brien, the crime lord's daughter? Ha! Of course I did. She disguised herself to keep her identity secret from Chet Phillips and the world, but not I. Athena fully embraced the secrets of oceanology and became a happy, gentle, a seafaring spirit named Trixie, who floats yeah, among you the waves. Yeah, got old man. She's been using you for two years to get her hands on your exclusive guest list. Liar! <laughs> she set the ship's engine to explode to sink you to the sea floor. Let her try. I will rise from the ocean like a salty, wet phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. I'm sorry. You're pitiful. How dare you? Get this thing off me. 
I'm not your negative thoughts, you self-absorbed ninny. I'm- Why, you're Bowden Moncrief. Raquel's love interests on acquaintances. And you are a stupid old man who felt sad that he couldn't get Hollywood to pay attention to him. I've been there, sir. The difference between you and me is, I didn't try to kill people because my life didn't turn out the way I expected. Well, I have crafted myself into a god. You are an actor. A poor, hollow shadow of a man who has to play pretend for attention. No, Admiral. I embody human beings. I see the humanity in others and I bring it out. That's why I can study you and see a narcissistic little man who's only interested in bettering himself at the expense of everyone else. <laughs> Is this the only way an actor knows how to fight? Talking me to death? Nope. Just mesmerizing you with my performance until my girlfriend can show up and kick your ass. Hey, Admiral! What? Become one with the goddamn ocean. <laughs> you were amazing. Skip? Skip! Oh, God. Skip, can you hear me? I hear you, McGrath. Thank God. Okay, hang on. Sure. I feel great. Okay, look, Skip, I've got to access their system, but they've turned this thing up to the max, and now it's hooked directly into your brain. If I mess with it, I don't know what it's going to do to you. I can't... Uh, I can't shut this down. Damn it, stupid, useless... It's not a problem, McGrath. What part of this isn't a problem? You just need to calm down. Skip, what's it doing to you? It's opening my eyes. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine! God damn it, Agent Granger! On your feet! I always thought Chet had it all together. And boy, was I right. I've never felt so at peace. Just relax, McGrath. Okay. Skippy? I've asked you not to call me Skippy, McGrath. You know, you look like a carrot in a hipster's vegetable crisper. I... I place no value on my physical appearance anymore. Anymore? What? If this was what you looked like when you cared, you're gonna frighten children when you start to relax. McGrath, where are you? We need to get off this ship. This'll take a minute, guys. Skip's lying down on the job, as usual. Now, hold on. What gym do you go to, Skipper? Dunkin' Donuts? Don't call me Skipper. Who's your dietitian? Dr. Pepper? Where did you buy your clothes? A landfill? I'm not listening to you! McGrath, hurry! Hey, Skip, when I get back to the office without you, I'm gonna file your mission report. Mm -mm, no, no, I don't care! In purple highlighter! No, I don't care! Fold it into an mm -mm. origami crane, la, 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 set it on la, fire, la, la, and la, shove la, it under la, Zelda's door no. after I wipe my feet on your desk. No! We hang all your posters no. on a 20-degree no. shirt and rearrange the color coding on your no. fire. No, no, you don't! McGrath, those are in a very specific order! Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay, but so help me God, McGrath, if you rearrange my files... Oh, I knew there was no way Skip Granger would ever relax. Skip safe, guys. We'll come to you. Great work, team. Meet us on... Oh, oh. Mario! Oh. Hang on! Oh. Uh, oh. Grab that line! Oh! Half the deck must have collapsed! Can you pull us up? I can't uh, climb and hold you at the same time! Let me go! I can't see what's down there, but maybe... Don't you hear it? We're directly above the engines! McGrath! We're in trouble! Help! Help! McGrath! Help! Someone help! McGrath, we've got to help them! There's no time. Maybe I can shut down the engine. McGrath, come on! Your anxiety's overloaded the high-level systems. The network is a mess now. It'll take some patching, but I think I can do this. There's no time! Then you have to get to them. I'll handle the ship's no, computer. No, I'm not leaving you I'll here! I'll be right behind you. Give me 30 seconds. Fine. 30 seconds. No pressure. We're fine. We'll just give you a new init file, and then... <laughs> what the... Say the magic word. What the hell is this? You put a virus bomb in your magic own word. ship's computer? What insane... Let me out! Skip! Word. Okay, I can override this. 
the magic word. Oh, are you kidding me? You're disintegrating your own OS? Fine, I'll just build my own from scratch. In two minutes, before the ship sinks. Damn it! Skip! McGrath, are you coming? McGrath! Damn it! Odin! Gloria! The ship is going under! How are you people still playing music? Hey man, we're in the union. Relax. Stop telling me to relax! Mission Rejected was created by Pete Barry, J. Michael DeAngelis, and John Dowgan. This episode was written and directed by Pete Barry. It starred Chris Konecki as Skip Ranger, Nazla Sarpkaya as Mackenzie McGrath, Dave Stanger as Bowden McCreef, Paige Konecki as Gloria Kovac, Faith Dowgan as Section Chief Zelda Anders, with Kirk White as Chet Phillips and Kevin McGrath as the Mission Boys. Also starring Ashley Banks as Athena O'Brien and Bob Killian as the Admiral. Guest starring were Pete Barry as Christados O'Brien, Natty Leach as Lieutenant Valerian, Devin Plantamora as Pebble, Tom Boyer as Marcus Ellsbury, Mike Reale as Sherman, Claire Klieger as Damro, Dave Serfas as Curly Blacksteer, Dustin Carrot as Blaze Taggart, Ann Coleman as Olga, Jackie Sherman as Tatiana, Jose Maria Bejarano as El Pato, Jill Ivey as Ellie Mae Cedarstrom, Jeff Mashey as the Black Hat Brothers, and Johnny Goodtimes as Oleg Sokolov. Music, sound editing, and mixing were by Pete Barry with assistance by Karen Yang. We'd like to thank our Patreon supporters who helped to make this season possible. Ann Coleman, Bill McCabe, John Pivots, Barney Warner, T.H. Wyman, and Tim Pivots. Thank you so much. You can join them in helping us make Season 2 by supporting us on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash missionrejected for bonus content, exclusive audio, and more. All for as little as $1 per month. This has been a Portrait Production, copyright 2019, Extraordinary Missions Limited. Mission Rejected will return in 2020. Hello? McGrath? Gloria? Bowden? That's somebody. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Hey, Agent Granger. Grab us two shots of Stoli, would you? Of all the gosh darn people to wash up on an island with! Hey, I thought I was your hero. You listen to me. The ship sank, my friends are missing, and we're lost on some rock in the middle of the ocean with no method of communication! Hmm. Look on the bright side. What bright side?! A whole mess of your most dangerous enemies are at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, Screw you! (laughs) I wouldn't be alone on this island with you. I'd love to see even one of my former targets right now! Whoa. What? Cassandra Helsinki? Pull up some beach dudes. No one's ever gonna find us here.